Hey there, home learners. I'm glad to see you again. We are going to do another poem today. This one is Y30 for P5 Girls. So let's take a look at the poem together. We'll read it slow, then we'll uh, understand what it is talking about. Then we'll read it again a little bit faster for some fluency. And finally, we'll try to perform it. So let's begin. The title of this poem is called Lost Gloves. And the author, Gerard Benson. All right, Lost Gloves. Now, I grew up in a place that got very cold. And uh, in the wintertime, you would wear gloves. But somehow, you would always lose one. That's what this poem is about, so I can relate. Let's take a look at it. They don't come out till the winter months. This is till, it's like until, but just say till the winter months. Drop, don't drop that S at the end. But stay in hiding. Then slowly, one by one, they show themselves dangling from railings sitting on the tops of posts and pillar boxes. So there's plural here, more than one. Posts, boxes, and themselves. So try to hit all those S sounds. Settling, fingers spread, on walls and fences, or simply lying on pavements or in parks. Pavements is like where the road is, where you would park your cars. The fingers spread, you can just think of those gloves just kind of lying there all crumpled up. Okay? Gloves. Leather gloves, woolen or cotton, brown or black, blue, pink, or holly green. So all the different styles that they come in. Okay, next part. Sometimes their fingers are inside out or bent back. Sometimes they're crumpled, sometimes frozen into a pointing shape. They are contractions. They're crumpled, like squished up. Uh, if you ever take your fingers out of your gloves and maybe they stick to your fingers a little bit, the pulls the inside right on the outside, so inside out. There's never more than one, never a pair. The lone gloves, the lost gloves. Lone means just one, all by himself. But look, here comes a kid looking quite warm. And look at those gloves. One red mitten and one gray woolen, rather too large. Which means that he lost his gloves, but he found some others to replace them. So it's kind of a mixer match. This actually does happen quite a lot. It happened to me. I lose gloves all the time when I was growing up. A mitten is like a glove that covers all your fingers into one big pocket. And then a, a regular glove is where each finger has their own um, their own movement. So, all right, and there it is, Gerard Benson. Okay, now we've read it through once, talking about the gloves. Let's read it through again. There's a lot of S sounds, a lot of ending, tricky ending sounds. So we need to hit those right, and then we'll try to perform it. I'm gonna go faster now, see if you can keep up with me. If not, keep practicing until you do piece by piece. Here we go. Lost Gloves by Gerard Benson. They don't come out till the winter months, but stay in hiding. Then, slowly, one by one, they show themselves dangling from railings, sitting on the tops of posts and pillar boxes, settling, fingers spread, on walls and fences, or simply lying on pavements or in parks. Gloves, 
leather, gloves, woolen or cotton, brown or black, blue, pink or holly green. Sometimes their fingers are inside out or bent back. Sometimes they are crumpled. Sometimes frozen into a pointing shape. There's never more than one, never a pair. The lone gloves, the lost gloves. But look, here comes a kid looking quite warm. And look at those gloves, one red mitten and one gray woolen, rather too large. Okay, so if you can, that's a lot of text. You have to keep practicing, kind of um, just keep adding pieces and pieces and pieces until you get to the end. Now, what to do about performance? Well, this one doesn't really have a rhythm that I can find. It's more of a story, kind of like a retelling. So I think the best way to perform it would be to use your words clearly and slow it down a bit and tell a story. Use your face to express yourself and try to make it sound as natural as possible. And that's the only advice that I could give you for this one. So I'll perform it now just so you can see how I might do it, but I want you to find your own voice, okay? I'm not gonna show you or tell you what to do. You have to decide how it fits best for you. Um, what you can pick up on is where I speed up and slow down, where I go up and high and down a little bit lower, um, just to make the language come alive, a little bit more natural sounding. So, here we go. Lost Gloves by Gerard Benson. They don't come out till the winter months but stay in hiding. Then, slowly, one by one, they show themselves, dangling from railings, sitting on tops of posts and pillar boxes, settling, fingers spread on walls and fences, or simply lying on pavements or in parks. Gloves. Leather gloves, woolen or cotton, brown or black, blue, pink, or holly green. Sometimes their fingers are inside out or bent back. Sometimes they're crumpled. Sometimes frozen into a pointing shape. There's never more than one, never a pair. The lone gloves, the lost gloves. But look, here comes a kid, looking quite warm. And look at those gloves, one red mitten and one gray woolen, rather too large. Okay, so kind of telling the story, that's how I think of it. Um, I want to see how you do and keep practicing and I can't wait to see how it comes out for you. So come back and see me again and we can do some more poetry together. I'll see you. Bye-bye.